The River Forecast Centre is involved in understanding what is going on in the provincial rivers across the province. We analyze snowpack information, we look at river levels, and we do analysis and forecasting to help predict what is expected in the coming days and weeks. So we have three different levels of advisories when we look at flood warnings for the province. The lowest level is the high stream flow advisory. This is when we expect rivers to be coming up and we may see some low-lying flood issues, particularly in kind of areas adjacent to low-lying creeks and rivers. A flood watch is where we have an anticipation that we could be getting up into flood stage and starting to flood the areas around riverbanks. And when we get to the flood warning, we're expecting that either a flooding is happening or is, is imminent to happen where we're going to see flooding on the areas beside rivers. In BC, we have a couple key factors that lead to flooding. We've got a fall winter season where we have atmospheric rivers that bring heavy rainfall, particularly into the coastal areas of the province. And that heavy rainfall can lead to high runoff and flooding. And then the second season we have is the freshet, where we have the seasonal cycle of snow melt across the province. We build the snow up over the winter, and, and as the temperatures warm in the spring, that snow starts to come down, and we see that seasonal rise in the rivers around the province. So the River Forecast Centre produces a range of information to help support the public and communities. We produce regular updates into modeling information and real-time forecasts on the rivers around the province. And if needed, we publish advisories and warnings to help alert for flood conditions that may be coming. So the responsibility for when evacuation alerts or evacuation orders are made is made at the local government level. Communities or First Nations that will decide based on local conditions whether they need to provide those alerts and orders. So the River Forecast Centre is putting out the flood warnings that would provide some information that would help make the decisions around whether to issue an evacuation alert or order. When individuals look at preparing for flooding, a key aspect is to understand the risks that are there that they might be subject to. And then having a plan, how they're going to prepare for flooding, having a grab and go bag, and maintaining awareness by looking at updates that are being produced from the government as well as local authorities. A great resource that people can look to is Prepared BC where they can get information on how to prepare a grab and go kit and develop a plan.